Hey, welcome back to Overclocked. This is part 7. So, in part 6, we had gone further back into the memories of number 1 and number 3, found out a load more information, and then we came out of there and we got some handcuffs from our detective friend, Detective Moretti to secure crazy number five to his bloody bed because he's a bloody nutter so that's what we're gonna do now i think that's all we can do cell number five come on <coughs> oh god he's already up okay son <sighs> calm down mate bloody hell Can we try again Right, that's it. You're getting okay. cuffed to the bed, We've mate. Got to do this. Yeah, we got to do it because you're a bloody nut at all. Why do you have to make it so difficult for us? Well, that seemed pretty easy, Davy boy. Didn't seem difficult. <laughs> just cuffs him. I'm just gonna cuff you and get on the floor, man. Let's see what he's got to say for himself. Can we hypnotise him? Keep calm. I want to see what's Don't going worry. on. I'll undo the cuffs again in a minute. No, I won't. Do you won't. think we can try and see what you can remember? Maybe. Cliff, that's his name. We found that out in the last video. Oh, look into this thing. Just <laughs> <laughs> relax. I'm here to help you, son. Not I read your son. file. You were found in Manhattan. What's You're he? not the only one, you know that? No. <sighs> try... To remember what happened. You're not going to get me. Who? Who's not going to get you? The Illuminati or the government? Same thing, huh? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Somehow we gotta get out of here. Where are you? Looks like a, a store, an old army store, a depot. How do you feel? It's dangerous here. I gotta get out. Is anyone with you? No. I have to get the gate open. Okay, so now we're further. I guess we're on the evening or the night. This guy, first we did the night with the other two, and then we went further back to do the evening. So we're kind of going backwards, like memento style. So this must be the night, like just before he managed to escape. So where the hell are we? It's an old army depot. So let's see what the hell we can do. Let's see what's over here. Oh, main gate, main square. We've been there. Nothing over there. We can go in there. We can go to the main square or the main gate. What's going on over there? It's moving. What are you moving? Ooh. What's this? Run, Cliff. Ooh, what is it? It's all rusty. It looks like the underside of some kind of truck. Tank lid. Okay. Turn. Look. An old tank. An old tank. Turn it. Okay, so I guess we either need to put something in there or get something out of there. I guess we're going to get something out of there, like fuel. Then we're going to make a bomb and we're going to blow our way out of the gate, man. Because we're not going to be kept in here by the Illuminati. No way. Okay, so I've got a knife. Look, oh, use. can use. I don't think I need to use that. Let's go check out the main gate. Ooh, look at this. We got watchtowers or god towers or something. That's kind of weird. What is this place? Sliding door. Oh. Oh, it opens. Ooh, gas can. Petrol can. If you're in bloody England, which I'm not. Investigate. I can. I can sure use that. Really? Why? You don't have any reason to use that. You've just decided in your own mind, because it's an adventure game, that you're going to pick it up. Because that's what you do. I'm going to have this, I'm going to have that, I'm going to have this. I'm going to have everything I can grab. What about this? That looks like something I want to go down. No. Not an option. An empty can. An empty can. Okay, so I guess I'm going to have to take that to the tank. But then I need, I need something like some kind of piece of hose. Chain. Investigate. Go have a look at the chain. Damn, it's locked. I've got to break it open somehow. With a bomb. 
That's what I would do. Okay, we can't go up, seemingly. Why? I want to go up. Why can't we just go up? And then see what we're going to do up there. See where we are. Because we don't have any fuel. Oh, fuel dump. Yes. That was on the other one. Main square. I bet he's not going to... No. No. I'm not going back there. No way. Where are you not going back to? To the compound behind the store. Why not? Too dangerous. There's two wackos waiting for me. Wackos? <laughs> yeah. I'm not Is going that a back. technical term? Alright, so it's like everybody in this place thinks everybody else is out to get them. Like, because the other guy, number three, whose name we never found out, he thought this guy, number five, whose name I think is Cliff, was after him. And then number one thought everybody was after So everybody thinks everybody else is out to get them. S barrel. Oh, push the barrel. Okay, then I will. Well, I don't mind if I do, sir. Okay. So first, I'll roll the empty drum in front of the gate. Oh. oh. So. Right. So what? Why can't we just climb over it then? I think I can climb over me. that. I'm gonna blow this darn gate sky high. Yeah, I'll you get him, son. Gonna blow this gate sky high so I need to fill the can with petrol and then fill the barrel and then blow up the gate well, I'm sure I could climb over there it's not very high even without the bloody barrel I think I could climb over there I'm not that unfit look at me I look pretty good sure I've been working out but I'm not gonna run Right, let's see what's... Oh, God, we've got a wide view now. Look, what's going on? What can I find? Ah, American flag. I'm going to be patriotic and take this. And as I jump over the fence, I blow up the fence, I'm going to wave my flag. American man, fuck yeah! <laughs> what do we got? Ooh, a battery. Looks a bit old, mate. <clears throat> Us army. Oh, okay. An old battery. So. An old battery. An old battery, okay. Flag. Oh, use the flag. Can't use it on there. Maybe I can cut the flag. No? Okay. Ooh, bottles. Nearly missed those. An empty bottle. Okay, what we got? Ooh, cable. That looks like I'm gonna need that. Get the cable, Cliffy. Ooh, jumper cable. So I guess I'm gonna put those. Oh, I'm gonna make some kind of detonator. I'm gonna have to fill the barrel with petrol and then make some kind of detonator with the battery to blow it up. So I'm gonna put those on there. Oh, alright. I'm not sure this battery would still be viable. It looks a bit bloody old. It looks like circa 1960s, doesn't it? Looks like this. Why would there be this military, abandoned military? Well, we must be something to do with the government because surely if there's an abandoned military base somewhere, it's not just going to be left abandoned for anybody to use. Don't you think? Right, I need something else. <clears throat> Maybe I can put that in there. Yeah, that's gonna work. One, One step, step at a time. In. Well, if it's gonna work, then do it. What am I gonna make? Some kind of Molotov? What the hell am I doing here? That's empty. I need something else to fill up my can. Mm, I don't think I can do anything here. Clamp. Investigate. Oh, okay. Huh, we've still got power. Yeah, that is highly doubtful. No, go back there. <laughs> Can I cut off? Oh, okay, now. That is a real problem, that. Having the bloody back thing there, right there, when that comes up there, and he just moves. Oh, no, go back. 
Right, so there's nothing I can do there. So I need something else. Ooh, what's that? Something over there. Something over there? That spun around. Ooh, that's it. I need my no tube. Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> this is what I'm going to use as my siphon. We'll take it then. No oh, I'm going to cut it off. The hose still looks kind of usable. I'm going to cut it off. Okay, I've got it. Yeah. Whoa, that's cool, man. A hose. A hose. Oh, let me just make sure there's nothing else there. Oh, what's that? Oh no, that's back. Nothing else to use on the fire extinguisher. That goes back where where we were. Hmm. Okay, where was my can? <clears throat> okay, this way. Down here. Run number five. That's right. Keep up your fitness levels. Put my tube in there. Woohoo! Oh, yeah. Then I put my can on there. I think. All right. Yeah. Now we're getting somewhere. I got a full canister. The can's full of gas. Really? Great. What about if I put my bottle on there as well? All right. Full bottle. And then if I could put my flag in there. Voila. Uh, There's one thing missing. A match. A match. Well, we can <clears throat> well, what hmm. Hmm, hmm, I know, I'm going to go fill up this barrel first. Run, Clifford! Fill up the barrel. That should do it, All if right. I could only ignite it from a distance. Well, okay, so we're just going to light the Molotov and then throw it at the barrel and then BOOM! It's gonna blow sky high, and I'm gonna walk out of the flame like an American hero, baby. And nobody's gonna mess with me anymore, cause I'm Cliffy. Cliffy the escaper. I don't know, whatever. Right, so I guess we just use this to ignite this Molotov. Mmm, sounds lovely. Maybe I'll have a sip first. No? Okay. Set it on fire then. <coughs> we better hurry up. It's not gonna burn forever. <laughs> okay, okay. We need, we've got a time limit or something. Come on, run! It's gonna blow my fucking head off, man. Come on. Okay, let's do it. No! What the fuck? Why can't I throw it? Oh, what the hell? I'm not gonna go over there, am I? And do it? What the hell? That's it. Okay, Done. it's now gonna burn out. Yeah. You got yourself some explosives. No, a drum full of gas and a Molotov. Cocktail. You better get the hell out of there, man! Oh, so he's gonna throw. I have to go up to it to throw it. Why can't I just click on it? Damn. Not bad. Very inventive, sir. You've done a good job. Okay, okay. That's enough for now. Ooh, that's very good. That was a good little scene. I like that. It's very easy. I like that, too. Thank you. <laughs> I'll send someone to take off the cuffs. I'm sorry that was necessary. Why can't you take them off yourself? Davy, you've got the bloody key. What? You don't need help. Who are you going to send? Dr. Young? He's not going to be very happy that you've handcuffed his former patient. Plus, why did he have to be handcuffed on the floor? Why couldn't he put him on a bed where it's you know, a bit more comfortable? Ooh, what are we going to do? Are we ringing someone up? Oh, he got that out before he even got a message. It's a bloody sidekick. That's a sidekick, not a sidekick. That's two different bloody things. But what if you want a sidekick sidekick? That'd be bloody good then, wouldn't it? <laughs> 
Oh, we got a message. Yes, 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 yes. Let's have a look a bit. Who is it going to be from? Is it going to be from Kimmy, my wife who's divorcing me, or the lawyer who's taking it out? Ah, oh, it's all a mess. I bet it's from Moretti. Meat. Ah, okay then. Hey, Doc. I need to speak to you in private. I'll be waiting outside the hospital gates around 5 p.m. Can you meet me there? Ciao, Joe Moretti. Sure, Joey, but what time is it now? Maybe it's not 5 p.m. yet. <laughs> I'm gonna check in with Carl Young. Hey, Carl, what's up? Dr. Young? Yes. I'm finished in cell five. He's calmed down. We can remove the restraints this evening. Here are the keys. Why can't you do that yourself? I've got a meeting. I take it he's in a worse condition than before. I wouldn't say that. We've made some progress. I'll go see myself. Good, you do that. See you later. See you later. Can I get in the medicine cupboard yet? Locked. Oh, God damn it! I want some prescription drugs, man! Now that I'm getting a divorce and my wife's gonna take me for everything I got, I need to make some... Oh, who's phoning me now? Also, now we'll talk inside before I was ah, paranoid. I'm already? You outside already? Okay, I'm on my way. Last time I was paranoid about talking inside, and now he's just talking inside. Oh, that's no good for consistency. Oh, what a day. Handcuffing people, going back into crazy memories, blowing up gates. Still raining, still getting a divorce. Stewie, you still out here in the rain? You're getting pretty wet there, Stewie. And you got nothing okay, to then. say. Okay, then, bye. I gotta meet the NYPD. I'm gonna tell them about you, Stewie. You look suspicious to me, man. Joey! Joey Moretti, where are you? Oh, here he is. Well, Doc, you look pretty shaken. It's not my most joyful assignment. <clears throat> you making any progress? I believe I am. I've made a first contact with three of the patients. And? Any leads on their IDs? No, not yet. But Yes, I, I know all of their names. I think it's quite possible that they were all in the same place. Ah, uh, okay. That conclusion? They've described things that seem to relate. They've met before, at least two of them. I think that's the case. It's got to have been some kind of bunker or mm. military property. Okay, I'll get Jason on it again. Who's Jason? Right, so obviously, yes, we know as the game player that they're all in the same place. But you've got to remember that Davy, he's only hearing what the patient is saying to him. And he's recording it on his little thing. He's not seeing anything. So he doesn't know that we know all the names now. But he doesn't know the names. And he doesn't know any more than what they're saying to him. But we know more, because we're God. But you had something for me. Shoot. Yeah, you know, we were taking a closer look at the clothing. We tested the blood stains we found for drugs. And? All negative. No barbiturates, no amphetamines, no THC. None of them? Not Cell 5 either? Cell 5 did have some alcohol in his blood, but not much worth talking about. Okay, so what's with a conspiratorial come to the door? I didn't say we found nothing. So? In the tests, all five of them scored a 100-fold increase in testosterone Whoa. levels. 100 times higher, Doc. Wow. That'll turn you into a combat machine. Can you get those kind of levels by natural means? Stress or whatever? No. Yeah, man. Perhaps by pumping iron. Anyway, we had many soldiers who would uh, record strongly <coughs> increased levels following actual and simulated combat. But these are no soldiers. No, and such levels in five different subjects. That's unthinkable. So we have to conclude that there's a drug involved here somewhere. You can get testosterone no problem in the black market. You can get it anywhere on the internet, and there's plenty of sports people using that stuff. Yeah. Where's the stuff come from? It gets sidelined out of hospitals, smuggled and juiced illegally. Whatever you want. Could it be possible that it could have been dispensed here in the hospital? Before the five got their hospital clothing? Could that happen? I can't imagine that Dr. Young would do such a thing. Sure. Why would he do that? For what purpose? <laughs> Why would he do that? 
the patient still aggressive then? No, well, apart from one. Only thing. number five. Okay, and what should I do now? Have a quiet look around. See what Dr. Young and his assistant are up to all day. It would also be advisable, if possible, to keep him away from your work until we've checked him out. That shouldn't be a problem. Oh, Dr. Young. You know what, Moretti? There's something about Dr. Young. Yeah, he's a very bitter old man. Bit. He really can't stand me. Does that worry you? Just keep out of his way. I don't know, but I just get the feeling he's got something on me. For example? He knows things. About me and my wife. What? Uh -huh. What does he know yeah. about his wife? So what is it that he's not supposed to know? Or does that go for me too? They are very private things. Understood. I don't really believe you understand me, <laughs> and I'm happy with that. But I'd also like it if you didn't have a false impression of me. Ooh, now that sounds very secretive. Now listen up, Doc. Your private life is your own, of course. But if somebody could, say, blackmail you over some dumb story, then you better tell me. Blackmail? No, no, of course not. It's a bit uncomfortable, but nothing more than that. But you don't want to tell me. No, not at all. The only thing I want is, um, hey, can you take a look and tell me if anyone has requested my personal army files in the last few years? Hmm, can do, yep. I'd like you to do that, please. I'd like to see who's been dragging out these stories about me. So, how is your wife then, Doc? What? Your wife. How is she? Good. She's good. She's in Washington. Fine. Invite her up for a few days. Maybe we can get to know each other. Whoa! Back off him already! Shame. Yeah. Shame. Okay, then. Same story. I'll call you when I get something new. Now, I gotta go. Here comes Dr. Young's charming assistant. Look after yourself, Doc. Yeah, thanks. Why can't you just tell me all this on the phone, Moretti? You didn't have to take a trip out of Staten Island to tell me. Hey, Tamara. How you doing? Feeling better? David, one moment. Tell me, isn't that who? The man in the suit. He's a pharmaceutical representative from Houston. Ah, I think I know him from the ferry pier. I can't imagine that uh, Mr. Clark only just arrived in New York this afternoon. Well, I saw somebody similar. Maybe it's the suit. Who did you say he worked for? Dwight Chemicals. Oh, big company. Say, didn't they have that big testosterone scandal? I don't know about that. We buy our sedatives from them. Ah, and you use plenty of them. Nice business for Dwight. You're certainly right, David. I'm on my way out. Where did he go? Who? Mr. Clark. Out the side entrance. Ah. Well, have a good evening. May I? <laughs> May I? May you what? Have a good evening? Well, that's kind of up to you, Carl. Not me. Who the hell's Mr. Clark? I didn't even notice anybody walking off. So what am I going to do now? I've got to... What the hell's Moretti on about anyway? Bring my wife up here so I can get to know her. What the hell's he on about? She's already getting to know my lawyer a bit so bloody intimately. <laughs> right, so some guy from a pharmaceutical company was here. Mr. Clark from Dwight Chemicals. Who I, who David thinks he saw on the pier earlier. I can't actually remember that. He did talk to somebody. Tamara's come back, so something's going on here a little suspicious. And I'm gonna get to the bottom of this dirty business. Tamara, I want you to tell me all about what the hell's going on in here, and don't you ever not tell me. Can I bother you a moment? How can I help you? I want some information, please, Tamara. Listen, Tamara, I, I want to apologize. It wasn't right for me to have put you in danger. What did I do? Uh. Perhaps I haven't explained to you how I work. My methods only work when my patients aren't loaded with medication. Of course, that can also mean that they can be more dangerous if you get close to them. I'd like you to avoid contact with them. I don't want anything to happen to you. I've been in worse situations. Ooh, man in suit. I'd like to have a word with you about Dr. Young. What about? You know that Dr. Young and I don't exactly... Why is he an DIY. absolute it's asshole? It's not a very comfortable situation. I know that we're both coming from quite diverse professional standpoints, but in spite of that, I wish we could just get along more easily. And so? I was thinking, maybe you could talk to him. Or at least explain to me what he has against me. 
You really want to hear that? Yes, yes. please. Dr. Young was a respected I scientist, told you. Mr. McNamara. He's just jealous. Up until the early better. 80s, he had a very high-profile career. Came along His research and treatment in the field of aggression was respected all over the world. Yes, I know. And there were the two deaths, weren't there? Uh -huh. During one of what his tests. What the hell is this? What happened there exactly? Two deaths? It was the final clinical testing for a new drug. It had been consistently successful in animal testing. He had spent years developing it. What kind of medication are we talking about here? It was an inhibitor. The Young Method would have revolutionized aggression therapy. His work would have become the worldwide benchmark. Would have, if only the two patients hadn't died, of course. That's how it was. The two of them died, he was discredited, and was sidelined to here, Staten Island. You can imagine, he found that was a heavy price he had to pay. Yes, yeah, sure, well, that's evident. Now Staten Island is being closed down. And with his final cases, an external colleague gets brought in over him. I get it. He sees me as a competitor. He knows that you're not up to his level, so the fact that <laughs> Whoa, you're here is humiliating wait a minute, for him. Man. Not up to his level. Yeah. Yes. Not at all. What? Okay. If that's what you I'm think. way better than Would him. You have a word with him anyway. It'd be nice if he could back off a little. I think we'd all get along better if he did. I'd advise you to leave him alone. No, okay, I won't. Same rules as before. We only discuss what's necessary. Was that everything? No, I'd like to discuss your, um, you know, the uh, atrocious attitude here tomorrow, saying that Dr. Young is better than me. I don't take kindly to that. Tell me, <laughs> the man in the suit who was here just now. Who? There was a man in the hall with Dr. Young. Mr. He left Clark. At the side entrance. Dr. Young said it was a Mr. Clark. I don't know who you mean. Yes, He's you do. He's a representative from Dwight Chemicals. He may well be. We work closely with Dwight. So you don't know him? No, but the Dwight representatives change pretty often. Maybe he's new. Why are you interested in him? I thought I recognized him, that's all. How often does he come here? Every quarter. Ah. Now it's November now. He's late, isn't he? David, you are not a detective, okay? You are a psychiatrist. Leave the detective work I have to, to the detectives. Catch you later. Okay, in case we don't see each other again, uh, till tomorrow then. Yes. Hopefully when your attitude has improved tomorrow, I don't care for you at all. No, don't. Don't care for... Ooh, flashlight. I'm going to take that. Thank you. Oh, man. Okay, tomorrow I'm going to go and speak to number four. And number two now, okay? I don't want to be disturbed by you and your attitude. And tell Carl if he comes in. I don't want anything to do with him or his friend, Mr. Clark, either. I don't care for either of them. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, oh, let's just check in the cockpit again. Oh, it's locked. Damn it! God damn it! Oh, I got so much aggression! Oh, my test. Testosterone levels are 200 times their normal amount. Right, so we've done one, we've done three, and we've done five. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? One, three, five. Oh, it's a nice little pattern. I like to do number two now, please. Oh, still asleep. Wake up, number two. You're on. We're gonna get back into your memories. So, sunshine. Uh, still uh, nothing coming back? Be patient. Oh. I know we'll find whatever it is that'll help. Really? What's gonna help? I don't know what's gonna help. I've got a flashlight. A flashlight? Great. What am I gonna do with it? I can turn the lights out with the fuses. Where the hell's Dr. Young gone, anyway? Why don't we go check number five? Because we've been doing two flashbacks on the other two, so maybe we need to do another flashback on number five. He hasn't taken the cuffs off. I told bloody young he could take the bloody cuffs off. It's me again. <laughs> Listen, son, we we can't carry on like this. I want to help you. You've got to calm down. Try to think back. We'll soon know how to help you. Really? Well, what are we going to do then? That's not going to work. What isn't? I didn't even suggest anything. That's not going to work. That's not going to work. That's not going to work. What? Don't give me your attitude. 
Right, so what should we do? Should we play him some messages then? Some recordings. So, five... Night. Hmm, okay, let's play in part four. That seems to work on the others. That's it, I've done it. Ooh. Now we can blow up the gate. You got yourself some explosives. No, a drum full of gas and a Molotov cocktail. I've only got one chance at this. Okay, we didn't get any hmm from Davis, so that probably hasn't worked. That's not going oh to my god, well what are we going to do then? This worked on everybody else. Why not now? Hmm, okay, well now I don't know what to do. No, can't use the flashlight. Eh, we haven't done anything with two or four yet. Let's check four. Number four. Hello, wakey wakey, rise and shine, David coming in. Oh, she's been up all along in that same position. Good evening. Need something to ah. Well, what could it be? Could it be a recording? To try to move him closer to his recollections. It must have been nighttime. Mmm, it wasn't nighttime. What are you talking about, man? Oh, I know now. Look. It wasn't night. We went back in time to the night first, and then the evening. It was light out, his last recollection, wasn't it? So, what the hell? We can go turn the lights off like before. That wasn't his last rec If we're going back in time, what the hell? Are we going to go forward in time now, or what? Tamara, can, what, are, what are you actually doing? I don't think you do anything. No, I don't. Can I ask no, you what you you're cannot. doing with the switch? No, you can be quiet, please. Can I ask no, you what you're my doing God. with the switch? I already turned them off before. Why can't I do it now? Those are the fuses. Yeah, no. Can I yeah! ask you what you're doing with the switch? So, I've now I, I did it before. That must have been some kind of bug. Now I'm going to have to get rid of her. Can I bother you a moment? How can I help you? No! I have to get going. Catch you later. Well, that's enough time for this episode. I'm going to have to figure it out in the next one. Nope. Okay. Bye bye.